Yo, what up? This is Days Low for you watching Civil TV. And I want to show y'all where I grew up. Welcome to my hood. Welcome to Detroit. This is a house where <laughs> I'm, I'm from the east side, you know. And this is a house on the west side that we moved in about, was that, 2009 I graduated. But this is where I spend most of my time, really back there in my room. Like, I barely even chill out here. Like, I, I'm, I'm just like a, you know, closed in type of person. But, um, like I said, this is a neighborhood where I, I actually, it gave me a different, you know, side of a um, different outlook on uh, the west side. Because I was like, you know, I hate the west side because I was from the east. So I was like, I don't see how people can live on the west side. But it's not that bad. You know, it's all the same. It's all Detroit. So that's how I look at it, you know. The vibe in my house today, I recorded the Charming Record was, um, I was just in my room, in my zone, going crazy, just like, let a nigga try me, you know, and I just was writing it, and it was sounding good, I was like, yeah, I want to record this ASAP. It was just like one night, you know, I'm just in my zone, I'm, you know, DDS sent over the beat, and usually when he's sitting over beats, I just sit and I vibe, you know, I have my headphones on, and I'm just vibing, you know, just going crazy in my room, because when I hear something I like, there's no stopping, you know, so here I am with my phone, I, I get my phone out. So I just got my phone out and started writing like, let a nigga try me, try me. The thing with it was, I just knew it was a dope song. You know, I'm I'm, bad. I'm like, woo! You know, I'm like, I'm cold. Like, when I make something really nice, like I, you know, I pat myself, I be going crazy. You gotta see it in action. It's just kind of like, I just be like, oh my God, like, just excited and just going crazy. So this is my little dungeon. You know, we really came from the bottom. And ain't no faking it, you know. So that's why I go hard at everything I do every day. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like coming from this months ago, you know how many months ago? Like four months ago to, you know, being number one on the charts and things like that. It's crazy, like very humbled about it. And you know, it's a blessing. Man. Yeah, I wrote Try Me Here. I recorded it with a uh, wit over in um, Oak Park. I shot the video here. I thought it would be dope to shoot it just at, a, at home. Just to bring that that vibe, you know, that real gutter, and just to show y'all the real life, you know, this is where I come from. I wanted that to be my first, like, you know, entry to the to the industry. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yo, so this is a pair of shoes of mine, like, that I work hard in. You know, just these type of shoes, when they get all worn out like this, it kind of it reminds me of just you know the old days. Even when I had them, it's just like I know these shoes going, you know go like they're gonna be like mean something after a while you know what i'm saying i'm about to start wearing them to my concerts you know what i'm saying like they mean a lot i've worked terrible jobs in these shoes and different things so it just bring me back at that little you know i'm already a humble person but it brings me back to when i didn't have much my personal style it's just really free spirited you know i'm chill laid back my um my music just really speak for itself it's just kind of um it's real life you know i rap about things that really go on and around me and just it's it's easy like that you know it's you know I knew what I wanted at an early age so I was just always like people they try to call you different things like you, you know you think you're too good but it's all about knowing what you want out of life and that's all it's about like I come from the same place you might have come from but I just did things just differently you know so I could separate myself from the outsiders and just you know so yeah, another thing about me, people don't know, I have asthma like really bad. Like I've had it since I was like a kid. You know, I've been hospitalized, almost died several times. I mean, just imagine not being able to breathe, it's crazy. I'm sure if you got asthma, you know what this machine is about, where you hook it up, you know. I'm a pro at this year. <laughs> like a lot of people grew out of their asthma as kids. I, I think I'm the only one who still, you know, has it and it actually bothers them, so. What you do with this machine is, you know, you open it, the medicine in, you know, this is our butyrol. You put it in. And make sure it's clean. Like, I'm giving instructions like a, a doctor. But yeah, it's just pretty much a mask. You put it over your face and you plug up and you cut it on and that's, it just works for you, you know. I almost died several times using, like, before I got to this thing, like, if this isn't working, like, I don't know. And another thing, like, this inhaler, I keep on me at all times. Like, it's been doing pretty good, though. Like, just wanted to share that with y'all. Like, that's one of my things, one of my health issues, asthma. <laughs> Blood. Top yeah, what I'm saying. Yo, what up? Right now we at Collective Studios. This is where I record a lot of my music at in the city. This is actually in Oak Park. Shout out to Prevail. 
You know, he opens up the studio for us whenever we want to get in here. Let's go. I'm vibing the studio. I'm, I, I'm usually in there by myself. I don't like a large crowd in the studio while I'm recording. It really is like distracting. It really doesn't matter who comes in the studio because I already got my stuff, you know, set out. But usually I like being alone, you know, just me and the engineer vibing out. Glass of Hennessy, maybe. My love for Hennessy is, you know, I am Hennessy. <laughs> you know, like, I love Hennessy. Like, my mom used to drink it so much when we were growing up, man. Now, she's not like an alcoholic or anything, but. You know, usually, you know, we, we we copy our parents, you know, and we do the same thing that our parents do. Hennessy, just give me a glass of Hennessy, a couple pieces of ice, and I'm good. Like, holla at me, Hennessy. How many people have contacted me since Try Me Blew Up? Everybody, man. Like, you hear about it a lot through, you know, other people's success, but you don't really experience it until you're really in those shoes and you get people calling you who you haven't talked to in years, you know, old friends, and just a lot of people. You know, you get the congratulations and all that good stuff. You get a lot of people who want to be around now, like, that wasn't around before, you know. Definitely a lot of that going on. Um, I don't answer my phone much, you know, but I do welcome a lot of people. You know, if you want to hang and be around, you could, you could come through, come to the shows, you know. I don't mind. Like, I want everybody to really feel what's going on, you know, and just feel a part of it. Like, I don't hold grudges. Right now we at Starters. This is on uh, Woodward. I come to this location all the time. Shout out to my man, Ali. We come here a lot to eat, man. Just watch the games, all type of stuff. My album's gonna be dope, man. Like, I know it is. I know for a fact I, I have an idea where I wanna go with it. I wanna work with Snoop. He's like the OG of all OGs, man. He's like, he's everybody's uncle, you know? I wanna do something with him, uh, Charlie Wilson. I already work with Boosie, he's one of my favorite. Um, Boosie hit me up like every other day now, like it's crazy to me, like I was just rapping and stuff when I was younger, like I'm not really trying to be anyone, you know, I never was like that as a kid, you know. I was always a shy kid, you know, I, I wasn't sure of myself, so now I walk with confidence, I talk with confidence, and I know who I am. It took me a while to get here, so I embrace that when I say I know who I am and I know where I want to go. People voice their opinions about a lot of things that I do, you know, the way I dress. Like, I'm not really putting on for nobody but myself, and it's working out well. Like, I, yes, I will put on a dress when I feel like it, you know what I'm saying? But I do, I, I, I cut up different ways. Like, you'll see, like, this just the beginning, you know what I'm saying, where you have escape video. Like, most of their videos, those ladies were wearing, like, baggy clothes, and it was sexy at the same time. So, like, I think I pull it off well. You know, I'm not trying, like I said, I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. Salute to everybody who do their thing, I know not knocking, you know, the women who are more sexual with it, because I grew up listening to just about them all, you know, just Trina, Lil' Kim, dope, you know what I'm saying, I got so much love for those ladies, so, you know, you will see me get sexy, <laughs> sexier by the day, you know what I mean, it's just whatever, like, you'll see. Like, when I do, a lot of times when I do features for people, and, you know, they'll send me the, they'll send me the record, and um, I'll send it back with my verse on it, and their verse won't be on there, and then they'll send it back, and their verse will sound just like mine. Like, I get that a lot. So I would say, definitely people love my song, you know, no disrespect to anybody, but like, I have broke out of a shell like that I have been in all my life and turned into just this person and it's not made up or fabricated. This is who I am and like I say, I love it. Like a lot of things that I do now, I wouldn't have done like a year or two ago. Like when I first started out, like if, you know, like let's say like Snoop, Somebody called me to tell me, like, yo, FaceTime me right now, Snoop, Snoop right here. I wouldn't have did that, because I would have been too shy to do that. Yesterday, somebody said that. I said, oh, okay. What's up, Snoop? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, like, that was, I was, I held myself back a lot. So that's why I encourage all kids to just, don't be shy, don't be timid, don't be, don't worry about what other people think, do you. And, you know, things will work out for you. Like, be who you are. And, you know, that's all I have to say. That a nigga try me. Try me, I'ma get his whole motherfucking family And I ain't playing with nobody Fuck around and I'ma catch a body Let a nigga try me